What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So the first thing we are going to get in our people is a bike man drop out in a crash in a Mandeville. See? A motorcyclist died as a result of injuries he sustained in a crash on Caledonia Road in Mandeville on Friday night. Police named the deceased Shamario Thomas, 21, a resident of Comfort District in Manchester. A police report said that about 11.20 p.m., Thomas was driving a motorcycle in the vicinity of Gulfview Drive when he attempted to overtake a motor car which was turning right. He collided with the vehicle and was flung from the motorcycle up on impact. Thomas was taken to the nearby Mandeville Regional Hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Jaja, RIP to this youth and condolences to his family. People, them youth here, you know, look like say, them take them life serious. You see what I say? Because you see, bike, bike is a thing where it not done make yet in a bridging. And them man you know, know say least look a slip up on a bike. It can cost you three points in a star. You understand me I say? Because I don't like car where you're licking our next car and you're in the car. Same way. You get fling off a bike bridging and a you on the asphalt. That you see me and know when you depend on your body if you take certain lick when you go at certain speed you go broke up and mash up bridging so them youth have to know say yo not because the speed of meter say so and so that means say you have to push it to the limit take time and ride the bike bridging a same place you go you know if yes for going away see so leave your comment people and in a me opinion now see no, in a maple, in a Clarendon. Man dies after motorcycle collide with truck in Clarendon. Cha cha. And next one, people. A motorcyclist died after he collided with a stationary truck on the Sandy Bay Main Road in Clarendon on Friday night. His identity has not yet been ascertained. So a truck parking you know, up people and him, 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 him ride, go lick up. He in the truck. A police report said the man was traveling on his motorcycle when upon reaching the intersection of Old Arbor or Old Toll Road, yeah, old, the Old Toll Road and the Sandy Bay Main Road, he slammed into the left rear side of the truck park in a dark spot. Police said the man died on the spot. So, again, you don't even know who wrong you so people. You see me I say, I'll do them bike man here if you take time and ride. But the truck man too, he's supposed to have on some kind of indicator upon the truck back. I put up some kind of indicator behind the truck. That's anything where I come towards the truck. You know what I mean? Can't see the boy there is a truck. So it look like say, this youth here ride right? and no type of reflector or indicator or nothing like that. No de. You know what I mean? Although them see up on the side him lick. So, Jaja, boy may I tell you, no take time and ride. Take time and ride, Virgin. No way on your body. No make for take certain impact, Virgin. You see what I say? So leave your comments in the comment section. And people. Leo the Bradshaw attorney want the full like statement or whatever about the plea deal where her co accused make. You see what I say? So let me share that with you. Plea deal with other accused being sought by Leoda Bradshaw's attorney. Attorney representing remainder 
of the persons who have been charged relative to the abduction and MURDER of a daughter of a member of parliament, MP Philip Palwell, and the child's mother are seeking to get the records of the apparent plea deal between the Crown and the two potential witnesses. The remaining accused persons, two having already pleaded guilty and been sentenced, are Leoda Bradshaw and her cousin Roland Balfour. They appeared in the Supreme Court on Friday morning when the matter was heard relative to the plea deal and case management handling. Deborah Martin, one of the defense lawyers on the case, told presiding judge Vinette Graham Allen that the director of public prosecution issued public statement indicating that a deal was reached with persons who could be called to testify against her client. She told the judge that she needed to know how the details of the deal were arrived at for the witnesses to testify in court. However, the prosecution indicated that the court proceedings dealing with the plea deal was done in camera and the files were sealed. Martin indicated that she would be taking the necessary actions to have the files unsealed. So, people, me don't know what good that I can really do for them because clearly, at the four of them do the act. You know what I mean? And the first person to say, all right, yeah, me do it, plea guilty. You know what I mean? And strike some type of deal with the DPP. Them I go get a lesser sentence and them I go help sink the next two. Because we all know, say, are the mastermind them one, which is Leo the Bradshaw. You see me I say, and Balfour also, but the main person where them really want a Bradshaw. So, Put in the comments, I make me know what you think. I remember to like up this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Man killing crash with soldier and patrol in Kingston. A motorist was killed and two Jamaican, Jamaica Defense Force soldiers were injured in a crash along Upper Elliston Road in Kingston on Friday night. In a statement, the JDF said it is collaborating with the police and other pat partners to ascertain the circumstances surrounding the collision. The army explained that soldiers in a service vehicle were carrying out patrol duties along the roadway when the accident occurred. It happened around 11.23 p.m. The JDF said the driver of the civilian motor car was immediately transported to the Kingston Public Hospital for treatment where he succumbed to injuries sustained in the accident. It is said two JDF service members were injured in the accident and were also transported to hospital for treatment. The Army has expressed condolences to the family of the deceased motorists, the JDF is encouraging is encouraging all road users to practice safe driving and observe the rules of the road, especially as the country approaches the festive season. R.I.P. to this man. Condolences to the family. You know what I mean? As them say, you know what I mean? Drive with caution. Be careful upon the road, people. You know what I mean? And the festive season has come up, as they say. And more drivers are going up on the road where you really have to look out for. Some non-drivers are going up on the road. You know what I mean? No vehicle are going get rent and all them something there. And you have to be extra careful in the coming Xmas season. So we are going to move on. Cops probing if St. James man's death is linked to his court case. 
police are trying to determine if Wednesday's killing of a man in Rosemount, Cambridge, St. James has anything to do with a shooting case he had before the courts. Quincy Foster, a 28-year-old mechanic from Post Office Hill in Cambridge, was found shot to death in his community. Information reaching our news team indicate that around 1.50 p.m., residents heard loud explosions sounding like gunshot and called the police. Lawmen rushed to the area and found Foster lying on his back with multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body and head. Foster was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced despite the number of can wounds and faster no spent casing were found at the scene faster police reveal was the accused in a case of shooting with intent currently before the court he was charged with shooting a man known as orient morris and was out on bail on that matter police say they are trying to determine if there was a possible link between that shooting and faster's death Morris was subsequently shot and killed by a gunman in Cambridge last month. Jaja. So people, let me know what you think in the comment section. See? Them say them no find no special people. So the man them can him up and take up every one of the special them. Or them have some type of, you know what I mean? bag over the fee fee sp all the way whatever you know what i mean it can be a revolver still so let me know what you guys think in the comment section remember to like subscribe and click the top bell icon bless up on yourself